Feature number three, elision. Sometimes a sound disappears or is dropped when we have strings of several consonant sounds. We do this so the articulation of these words can be easier and so we can keep a constant speech flow. For instance, instead of saying three consonant sounds in next week, we delete the final t in next so it's easier to move from the x to the w next week, next week. Another example, instead of would have in fluent speech, we will delete the first aspirated sound in have and say would have, would have. One last example of elision. Take the simple past tense of ask, asked. There are three consonant sounds in a row. However, in fluent speech, we can drop the k sound and say asked. So it's easier to articulate the word. Asked. Asked. The last of the four features is reduction. But before getting into this, let's clarify some concepts about rhythm in languages. There are syllable timed languages and stress timed languages. If a language is syllable timed, it means that it takes approximately equal amounts of time to pronounce all its syllables. This is the case of Spanish or French. English, on the contrary, is a stressed timed language, where not all syllables are stressed, but there is about the same amount of time between stresses. So, back to connected speech, to fit all the syllables between stresses, a number which can vary, some of the syllables are usually reduced. This means that they have a weaker pronunciation. This typically happens to function words. This is auxiliary verbs, pronouns or prepositions among others. In fluent speech, instead of the usual pronunciation of these words, called strong form, we will have the weak form, where the vowel sound becomes a reduced neutral sound, the schwa. It sounds like this, a. Uh. Put your mouth in a slightly open and relaxed position for the schwa. Uh. Uh. Here are some examples. I can fly. Here, the sentence stress falls on fly, so the function word can is reduced and pronounced can. Listen. Can. I can fly. Can. Or the man over there. Here, the stresses fall on man and there, so the article the is pronounced in its weak form. The. Listen. The. The man over there. The. Last example. When will you be arriving? Focus on the words will you. When will you be arriving? In this sentence, there are two stresses, one on when and another on arriving. So the function words will you have to be pronounced in their weak form. Will you? Listen. Will you? When will you be arriving? Will you? Easy, right? So now, to finish this video explanation, let's play for a while. Try to guess the connected speech feature in each phrase or sentence. It'll be a little easier for you because the letters whose sounds interest us for the exercise have been written in a different color. Number one. I booked a room. I booked a room. You now have 10 seconds to think of an answer. Right. It's a case of linking. The final t sound in booked is pronounced with the article a, booked a. I booked a room. I booked a room. Number two. It's been cancelled. It's been cancelled. Ten seconds. Yes. It's assimilation, regressive assimilation to be precise. The k in cancelled, which is pronounced at the back of our mouths, 
influences the way the final n in bean is pronounced, and this becomes a n sound, a sound also pronounced at the back. It's been cancelled. It's been cancelled. Number three. He was left back. He was left back. Ten seconds. Brilliant. Elision. The t in left is dropped, so there are fewer consonant sounds to say in a row. Left back. He was left back. We're almost there. Number four. Last year. Last year. Think. Good. This is coalescence, a type of assimilation in both directions. A new sound has been created. J. Last year. Last year. Finally, number five. You and me. You and me. Here, there are two features, so think carefully. Ten seconds. That's right. First, we have reduction of and to and, since it's a function word and is unstressed. And secondly, a case of linking you and the word and, an intrusive w sound that we have here. You and me. You and me. And now, yes, this is the end of this video on connected speech. I hope everything is clear now. Thanks for your attention.